What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with Five Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Gemini, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a um, free general uh, interview check-in for Sana Gemini. This can resonate if you have Gemini, any aspects of your charts, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or they maintain or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take much of this to resonate. It's a energy pooling for um, four days. So today's 17th. So 17, 18, 19, 20 of May of 2022. Um... Like I said, this can resonate to have Gemini any aspects of your charts, but it's very important. Only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. There's tons of Geminis in the universe. Um, and this is a free general collective reading. It's not a personal. So one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So it's very important. Only click the messages in that resonate. If they do, um, just saying, just saying. Um, I received one channeling as I was meditating on your energy um, for the next four days, and I heard the lone the lone wolf rises again. So you plug it in how it resonates, Gemini. The lone wolf rises again. This could be you or another Gemini connected to you, or you plug it in how it resonates, or somebody you're connected to. The lone wolf rises again. So kind of some kind of lone wolf energy, whether it's maybe for some, I feel your you might feel your spirit animal is a, a wolf. Or you might consider yourself a lone wolf or somebody you're connected to, their spirit animal is a wolf or they might consider themselves a lone wolf. But some kind of lone wolf rising again energy, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, um, you plug it in, how it resonates, Gemini. Um, I feel, you know, it's, um, it's lone wolf rising again or rising again or rises again or how whatever um whether it's you or somebody connected to i think they do good independently by themselves or they like to be by themselves or they like to do things by themselves that's what i'm feeling whether it's you or somebody you're connected to um i've got some pork pork loins with bacon wrap on them cooking so i might have to get up a couple times to go flip them just to let her right know the high priestess reverse three of cups reverse eight of wands upright um, five of cups upright, four swords upright, the lovers upright, eight of pentacles reverse. I'm going to go flip them real quick. I'll be right back. A particular Gemini is about to really, really move on from a fire sign. This fire sign is not giving them any happiness. They're about to completely move on from them. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, if that resonates for you, Gemini, um, you're not getting any fulfillment from a fire sign. Whoever this fire sign is and how they apply in your life. I feel it could be a masculine or femme fire sign. I didn't hear if it was a masculine or femme. But um, they definitely are a fire sign. They could have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or they've been hammered different charts. I heard they're not giving you any fulfillment. So for some, it could be emotional fulfillment, or it could be mental stimulation, or sexual fulfillment, or what have you. But they're not fulfilling you some type of way um, in some shape, form, or fashion, whether it's a platonic relationship, a personal relationship, a um uh, community member uh neighbor what have you they're not fulfilling you in some shape form or fashion so you're just gonna move on from them um they could have aries leo or sagittarius in their sun moon rising venus or them in hammer jupiter charts um high priestess reverse there is um i don't think they've got the clue that they're not fulfilling you is what i'm feeling i think um they are uh, their intuition is off or they feel your intuition is off for some, they could be sneaking around on you if they're your partner, possibly. Um, 
possibly, and then you're about to expose their ass. Um, but intuition's off, whether it's your intu I don't think it's your intuition. I think it's theirs because I heard you're about to move on from them. So uh, I think their intuition's off. I think their intuition's off. I think they're like lost in the sauce, lazy daisy, not, I mean, that like they don't have a freaking clue that you're not fulfilling them. I'm, they're, not, they're not fulfilling you is what I'm feeling. And it makes you uh, very unhappy. It makes you very unhappy. Um, you're about to move on. And eight of wands upright is quickly. So you're about to move the hell on out of Dodge. Up out of that bitch biatch quickly. I skirt. Just saying. I feel like with um, tires squealing and all that, that mess. Just saying. Five of Cups upright, Four of Swords upright, The Lover's upright, Eight of Pentacles reversed. For some, it is definitely a lover. For some, it's a spouse. Okay, I heard for some, it's definitely a lover. For some, it's a spouse. So for some of you guys, it's your current, I think, legally married spouse. For some, it's a lover. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. And for some, it can be a platonic relationship. You only, you know who this fire sign is and how they're not fulfilling you. So you plug it in how it resonates. But I think they're about to be in regret that you're about to leave their ass in the dust. Whether it's a... Um, lover or a legally married spouse or somebody else there's about to be regret there um but you're about to chillax about it rest and relaxation you're about to chillax about it you're not i don't think you're gonna be stressed about it you're just gonna chill um and for some i feel you might uh move on with somebody else because we have the lovers upright and it could, for some it could be another gemini because that's gemini energy um that's exactly what i feel let me see if i hear anything else For some, you're about to go on vacation. Not even going to worry about it. Okay. Well, you go with your bad self. Okay. That's how I'd handle it, too, to be honest. I'm legally single. I've been legally single a long ass time. But if this was me, that's what I would do. And it, uh, yeah. Yeah. This is you in the vacation mode, man. R&R, &R, chillaxing, loving yourself. Or loving on somebody else if you choose to do so. And then uh, 80 Pentacles Reverse, you're going to lose some money on the vacation. But I think you're about to really pamper yourself in all seriousness and fairness. But it really sounds like you deserve it. So this is the vacation energy. You're not going to worry about it. You're about to go chill on a vacation. I feel some by yourself. For some, you might need a lover there. For some, you might take a lover with you. You plug it in how it resonates. That's, that's how it'll roll, baby. Just saying, just saying. But it's definitely fire sign energy. For some, it's a, a current um, lover. For some, it is a spouse. For some, it could be somebody else. They could have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven, Jupiter, charts. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Love you guys so much. Namaste.